that's outside the chancel roof. That's outside Hitler's bunker with a German policeman. <laughs> so different from where she lives today, of course, near Andover. Susan Hibbert, now 80 years old, worked for this man, Eisenhower. And that's me on the telephone. Susan was on the staff of the Supreme Headquarters of the Allied Expeditionary Force. And it was while based in Reims in France that she typed up this, the unconditional surrender document the Germans were waiting to sign. A friend of mine, who I'd been in the army with, um, sent me a photocopy of the letter I'd sent her describing it. As you can imagine, life has been pretty hectic lately, but very interesting. We watched all the comings and goings during the negotiation for the surrender. If there was any mistake or change, and there were endless changes, they kept coming in and saying, we'll, we'll change that word, and we don't want this, and we've got to add that. And so you had to keep redoing it. In fact, all the terms were typed in our office, and I typed quite a number of them and saw them afterwards, complete with signatures. It was well worth it, as we were making history, I suppose. See, that was one photograph I've got there. We typed everything. I mean, the, 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 the stuff was, had all gone in to, to the uh, place where it was being signed, and we were waiting for them to sign it and come out. And if you look at the expression on their faces, they're all absolutely whacked. <laughs> That one's asleep. We went with Susan back to Reims in a rather different way from the first time. Well, then we flew over to um, Granville when we were lying on the floor of a Dakota with a Messerschmitt rather close, and being told to keep our heads down. <laughs> Not that it would have done as much good, I think. <laughs> um, that was a bit frightening. As the Allies advanced, Susan moved forward with all the generals to Reims. It's the capital of Champagne country. The war ended in this school on the 7th of May, 1945. This was General Yodel, the German chief of staff. Now I come to think of it, I saw him arrive. I'd forgotten that. As Yodel went inside, a column of German prisoners marched past. Today, the school has hardly changed. It's still a school, but one wing is now a national monument. They're already preparing it for the 7th of May, as this school will be the focus of France's VE Day celebrations, and the French Prime Minister is coming. What Susan doesn't know is how the city of Reims has prepared to welcome her. <laughs> <laughs> I owe a debt of gratitude that can never be repaid. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> a proposal, a small, a small slice of foie gras. Vive l'Angleterre.